An important programming note now for our thousands of South Georgia viewers who want WJXD News 4 Jax and our TV shows back on TDS Telecom Cable. We also want you to have access to breaking news, severe weather alerts, and big events just as much as you do. Tarek picks up the story from there. At midnight on December 31st, the Channel 4 programming that you have grown to love went blank for thousands of viewers in the Candom County, Georgia area. We want to be clear that this was a decision made by TDS Telecom, who up to this point hasn't agreed to pay Channel 4 fair market value. channel back on TV. You, the viewer, have every right to be upset. Channel 4's phones are ringing off the hook. I am very upset that I cannot get Channel 4 on my TV this morning. No warning. They're like family to me. I will watched it for years. For the first time in the history of WJXT, our contract expired with a local cable company and our signal went dark. The station has negotiated hundreds of these deals in the past without any programming interruptions until now. General Manager Bob Ellis says the station has been negotiating in good faith with TDS Telecom, who so far is unwilling to pay market value to the most watched station on the entire cable system. The TDS negotiating team has ceased negotiating with us. Um, we've tried for several months right up until the deadline, and so by virtue of that, they no longer have consent to carry our programs. We are very uh, cognizant and, and unhappy about the um, imposition this is putting on their customers. We want them to carry WJXT. In a letter dated January 1st from TDS Telecom to their South Georgia viewers, it reads, we will continue to try to reach an agreement that will allow us to include WJXT in our lineup. In the meantime, you can stream the news on newsforjax.com. Station manager Bob Ellis says the station isn't being unreasonable, but rather is seeking fairness. Their offer to us is neither fair nor reasonable given current market value, particularly given the significant investment we have made to you, the viewer, the viewers of TDS, for the best news product in South Georgia, North Florida, and top tier entertainment programs throughout the rest of the day. If you have TDS Telecom and want Channel 4 back, you can call them at 1-888-225-5837. You can also email comments to tdstelecom.com. Now, I spoke with the Vice President of Corporate Communications, Drew Peterson, who said to this today, in part, negotiations continue. While we are at an impasse, this is unfortunate. It is not our desire to experience a blackout. We like to bring high quality programming to our customers, but we are being asked to pay rates two to three times higher than other stations. We've made what we believe to be a reasonable agreement to what the rate should be, but a 47% increase or more is something that we are not going to do. Now, WJXT General Manager Bob Ellis disputes these claims and says negotiations ended yesterday. Ellis goes on to say that the rate increase we are seeking is on par with what TDS pays for other stations in the market.